Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking over 100 packs of Theros Beyond Death. So we've got a nice selection here. So without further ado, let's get into it. Looking forward to seeing what we get today. So I won't be spending too much time on the commons and uncommons. We'll just have a quick look at them. And then we'll be mainly cracking open the rares and mythics. Oh, this is interesting. I like how it has first at the top there you can see if it's the first card you've got all right and we get a nadir kraken which generates tentacles apparently all right on to the next one so a lot of firsts obviously some nice merfolk here oh that's pretty creepy Birth of my lettuce. Okay. Shadow Spear. All right. Yeah, I've heard that's pretty cool. Um, this ability is nice. Losing hexproof and indestructible. So, good way to take care of some of the opponent's creatures and planeswalkers for that matter. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of people here in the live stream. Welcome, Bayou Karul, SPNKS, MTG Guilds, Crazy Austrian. Oko is broken, I would say he is indeed. But he is banned, so no more Oko Idyllic Tudor. So, fetching enchantments. All right. Funeral rites, chain of memory. Oh, that's pretty cool. Minotaur. Okay, and we get Thassa's Oracle. So, the cards I'm looking for are Titans and either of the Planeswalkers. I think there's three Planeswalkers in this set. Oh, this one is pretty cool. A good one for ramping in green. You get to play an additional land. And lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. A good deal. And a mythic wild card. That'll come in handy. I like the uh, sagas here. So a bit of milling action on that one. Memory drain. All right, got a few more people. Welcome, Zekos MTG, Ethan Madonna, Code Cody Spitler. Stinging Lionfish. Oh, Protein Thaumaturge. So this is about copying target creatures. And unlocked a rare from the vault there. Unknown Shores. Oh, this thing. If anyone knows how to pronounce this, please leave a note in the comment or chat. Uh, I say Katobalpa. Maybe Katobalpaz. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, Erebus. Fantastic. And speaking of the gods of Theros, that's the theme for the chaos boxes this month on the channel so if you've been watching those plenty more to come yes pre-release is indeed tomorrow can't wait so heading to a new lgs my old one um, shut down last summer so i've been without for about six months these guys are pretty cool so a bit of graveyard hate there So, looking forward to it, and of course, picking up a bunch of boxes tomorrow. So, we'll be cracking at least one of those over the weekend. Um, also, hoping to pick up the Planeswalker decks. Flummox Cyclops, really? Oh, this guy looks creepy. Demon Enchantment Creature. Each player discards a card, okay. And another Mythic Wild card. Okay, are there any possible commanders you'd like to get out of this set? I see there's a bunch of uh, new legendary creatures. I can 
Oh, ho, ho. Elspeth, nice. To two target creatures you control, each get plus two plus one until end of turn. Cranking out the humans, life gain, and it has escape. Oh, so she can escape from the graveyard. Welcome, Yumad Bra 99. So we've done about a dozen packs so far. Got a couple of tasty mythics. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, Nyx Lotus. So that's a little bit broken. Okay, Rumbling Sentry, Giants. And another Minotaur. Alright, Treacherous Blessing. So whenever you cast a spell, lose one life. When it becomes target spell, really suck it. Okay, so you get to draw three cards, but yeah, then you've got to pay for it. Revoke existence. All right. Wrap in flames. Got the Pegasus. Satia Berserker. Check out this guy. Whenever you suck a permanent, put a plus one, plus one counter on Blood Aspirant. A one and a red tap, suck a creature on enchantment. He deals one damage to target creature. That creature can't block this turn. Okay. Oh, yes. One of the titans. Uru, titan of nature's wrath. And the animation for this guy is amazing. I've seen uh, some gameplay already from this. He like, takes up the whole top of the screen, so that's pretty cool. So when he enters the battlefield, suck it unless it escaped. Whenever it enters or attacks, you gain three life, draw a card, you may put a land from your hand onto battlefield. And of course he can escape like a bunch of other cards here. So still getting some first pulls here, Furious Rise, okay. Exiling my play that card. Field of Ruin is back. Okay. So the value of that's going to tank. Oh, another Erebus. So two there. That's probably a hint to uh, put together a deck with that guy. Omen of the Dead. Return to a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh, okay. And this artwork is hilarious. So this is a Satyr. Satyr tribal is a thing, people. Are you planning to do that? Seems like it could be fun. Nyx Herald. And it's Hakdos the Unscarred. Attacks each combat if able. And choose the number at random as protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen number. That seems pretty broken. Ah, uh, we need to pull a Thassa. And what on earth is this thing? Gorgon. Has escape. Varika's one escapes with two plus one plus one counters on it when it enters the battlefield this way. Each opponent sacks a non Gorgon creature. Okay, we've got the Temple of Abandon. There's some gruel color action there. Underworld Charger, Nightmare Horse. Oh, Polyukrenos, yes! Got the Mythic Hydra, enters with 6 plus 1 plus 1 counts on it, escapes with 12. Holy moly. Have to take that one for a spin. Drag to the Underworld. Alrighty, so I think we'll be paying attention to anything with a first pull here. So, Dream Stalker Manticore, delightful. Cling to Dust, Relentless Pursuit, and Perforos's Intervention, Elementals. Heliod's 
punishment. So four task counters, enchanted creature can't attack or block, lose all abilities, and has tap. Okay, so you've got to keep tapping it to remove the task counters on it. So locks up the creature for, let's see, what is that, four turns? Nessian Wanderer. And another Galia. Okay, nothing new out of that one, but we did get another one of these guys, so that's two of those. Excellent. Okay, bunch of new stuff here. Plant. Plant tribal is a thing, I guess. Voracious Tophon. Snake Beast. Nice artwork on that one. Devourer of Memory. Gets plus one, plus one. Pump it up. Milling. Oh, until end of turn. Okay, so you can boost it temporarily. And this guy, whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do create a token, that's a copy of that creature. Except it's 1-1 one, one, it's a nightmare in addition to its other types. Good deal. Welcome, I'm that Mystic Gaming. So we've done about 25 or so packs. We've got a Minotaur. Chimera. Okay, some combat tricks. And a Nessian Boar. Where is Domri when you need him? Don't answer that question. I think he met an untimely demise, actually. Omen of the Hunt. It's a Tessan champion. So, enchantments. You get to put a plus one, plus one counter. Ooh. That'd be pretty good. Okay. So, we've got a dirty big spider here. And Staggering Insight. Does combat damage. Okay, card draw. Atris Oracle of Half-Truths. Target opponent looks at the top three cards of your library. Separate some in the face down pile and face up. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Okay. Underworld Dreams, card draw and dealing damage, and shatter the sky. So, then destroy all creatures. Okay. Bit of a board wipe thing there. Thrill of possibility. Bit of card draw. Brawler, Centaur Warrior. Okay. Hydra's Growth. What is this enchant creature? When it enters the will put a plus one plus one counter on the enchanted creature. Beginning of your upkeep, double the number of plus one plus one counters on enchanted creature. So you'd have to, if you can figure out a way. Okay, so it just keeps growing turn after turn. Oh, and there's Thassa. Fantastic. Yes, as indestructible as long as your devotion of blue is less than five, it isn't a creature. And if you're into XL up to one other target creature control, return it to the battlefield under your control. Three in a blue, tap another target creature. Alrighty. But seems like there could be some shenanigans there. Deny the divine and a rest of the endless web. Legendary, what is this, a spider? Create a one, two green spider creature taken with reach, okay. Crank them out. Final death. It's bouncing creatures. Thirst for meaning. Hero of the Nyxborn. Okay. And Nylea's intervention. So grabbing land cards. Deals Twice X damage to each creature with flying. Okay. Anax hardened in the forge. His power is equal to your devotion red. Whenever it or another non token creature you control dies, create a 1 1 red satyr creature token with this creature can't block. The creature had power 4 or greater, create 2 of those tokens instead. 
And he's creating the satyrs, okay. Temple of Abandon, so we pulled that one already. Underworld Rage Hound attacks each combat if able. You can escape it. Escapes with a plus one plus one counter on it. Seems good. Tap target creature. I like the uh, you're just putting it to sleep here. Sleep of the dead. Fateful end. And Taranika, a Kruan veteran with indestructible and vigilance. Whenever it attacks, untap another target creature you control and to end turn. That creature has base power and toughness 4, 4 and gains indestructible. Ah, okay. So a Centaur, Soul Guide Lantern. Exile target card from Graveyard. You can sack it, exile each opponent's graveyard. Nice. And then you can suck it, draw a card, all right. Underworld Breach. Each non-land card in the graveyard has escape. Ooh, escape cost equal to the card's mana cost plus X, so three other cards from your graveyard. So you can pretty much escape. Yeah, escape things even that don't have it. Interesting. Cat Warrior. Captivating Unicorn. Okay, tapping creatures. And a Bronze Hide Lion. So it can give him Indestructible when it dies. Return it to the battlefield. It's an orange enchantment with enchant creature you control and pay that. Enchanted creature gains Indestructible and turn of turn and it loses all other abilities. Okay. Get a bit of extra value out of that guy. Welcome Connor Scoggin. Uh oh, they're going to be entering maintenance soon. I better hurry it up. Rise to glory. Okay, Protean Thaumaturge. So copying creatures. Welcome JJ Magic. Oh! That is awesome. Ox of Agonis. When it enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three cards, escapes, the plus one, plus one count on it. We'll be disabling new matches in ten minutes. Alright, fine. As long as it doesn't affect the pack cracking goodness. Hero of the Pride, Omen of the Sun. Okay, creating humans. Elspeth's Nightmare, that's pretty cool. Destroy target creature and opponent controls. It was a hand, choose a non creature, non land, that play the scuds hard, it's our target opponent's graveyard. Okay, so you get a fair bit of value out of that. This one again, we've practically got a play set at this point. Welcome, Daniel Wiseman. Got another Chimera. Okay, and a Mythic Wild card, always in need of more of those. Venomous Hierophant, Gorgon Cleric. When it ends the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Calafe, Beloved of the Sea. Power is equal to your devotion to blue. Creatures and chumps you control have spells your opponents cast at target. This opponent costs one more to cast. That's a good one. Hateful Eidolon. Draw a card for each warrior you controlled that was attached to it. Ooh, Woe Strider, that's creepy. Ah, <laughs> the goat token, 0-1. When it enters the battlefield, create a 0-1. Oh, suck another creature. Hmm, what could it be? Scry 1 escapes. When it escapes, it gets 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters. Okay, so got to find a way to multiply those goats, I reckon. Nylea's Huntmaster. Okay, pumping creatures. And Dalakos Crafter of Wonders. So you can add Colors Mana. Spend it only to cast artifacts or activate abilities of artifacts. Equip creatures you control have flying and haste. Interesting. Messian Horn Beetle. Okay, pretty simple. And a Satessan Champion. 
Get to get some card draw, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Satessan training. A turtle and what is this? Sweet Oblivion, what is going on here? Some milling. Target player puts top four cards of the library into their graveyard. Escape for three and a blue. Exile four other cards from your graveyard. Phalanx tactics. Target creature gets plus two, plus one. Each other creature gets plus one, plus one. All right. Treacherous blessing again. So we saw that one earlier. What do I think of the new set? Looks pretty good so far. I did like the original Theros. We've been cracking a bunch of that lately as well. So really enjoying that. Entrancing layer. May choose not to untap this during your untap step. And you can pay X tap target creature power X or less. Doesn't untap during its controls. Untap set for as long as enchants. Oh, okay, so you can lock something up for as long as you like. One of those guys again. Triumph of Annex. So giving target creature trample. X is number of law counters. Oh, this one goes up to four. Target creature control fights up to one target creature you don't control. And another Satessan champion. Okay. So we've got an Atris. So that's really handy knowing what you've already seen before. You can just skip over it. So it makes it a bit more interesting with the pack cracking here. Nexus Wardens. Life gain and this one, Sage of Mysteries. Enchantment target player puts top two cards of the library into their graveyard. So there could be some uh, milling decks going on, I'm sure. Shadow Spear, so we saw that earlier. Welcome Inflamed. So we're just about halfway through here. What is this? Ichthyomorphosis. Enchantment Aura, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature loses all abilities and is blue fish with base power and toughness zero one. one Classic. Okay. Shadow Spear, one more to get a play set. Welcome Michael Shoop. Whoop whoop indeed. Who's excited about the new set? Modomo's Prophecy. Scry 2, choose card name. When you cast spell with the chosen name for the first time this turn, draw two cards. Look at the top card of each player's library. Alright. And this guy again. Loving the sound effects there. I wonder if there'll be a cool animation with that guy bursting onto the screen. We've got the Kraken with the tentacles. Okay, nothing else new here. Mantle of the Wolf. I think this is new. Enchant creature gets plus four, plus four. Put into a graveyard from battlefield, create two. Two, two green wolf creature tokens. Fantastic. All right. Just over halfway through now. I think we're making decent time here. Slaughter Priest of Mogus with the Rakdos colors. One of you suck a permanent. He gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Pay two, suck another creature enchantment. He gets first strike until end of turn. Nice. Got the lion again. Rage Scarred Berserker! Minotaur Berserker. When he enters the battlefield, target creature control gets plus one plus zero. Guys, indestructible until end of turn. Seems decent. And speaking of Throne of Eldraine, your wallet from the chat. Opened a bunch of packs of that in today's video. So got a decent pull or two there. Triton Wave Rider. Enchantment center battlefield under your control. It gets flying until end of turn. That could be nice in limited, I think. There's Gary. He's back. He's probably tanking the price of the original printing. And we've seen this guy before. All right. Final Flare, so suck a creature enchantment, deals 5 damage to target creature. Agonizing Remorse, exile a card, you lose one life, seems fair. Wave Break Hippocamp, 
Now you cast your first spell during its, each opponent's turn, draw a card. That'll be in a lot of blue decks, I imagine. Dream Trawler with Flying and Lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, it gets plus one, plus zero into end of turn. Whenever it attacks, draw a card. Discard a card, give it Hexproof, which you would need that other card to disable that. Uh, anyone participating in pre-release over the weekend? And what are you hoping to pull? Personally, after the Titans or the Planeswalkers, probably like everybody else. So we've got a Wolf Willow Haven. Whenever Enchanted Lands tap for mana, it's controller as an additional green. Pay. Okay, suck it. Create a 2 2 green wolf. Play this ability only during your turn. Oh, nice. Cluthis, God of Destiny, your legendary enchantment creature 4 5 for 3 with indestructible. As long as your devotion to red and green is less than 7, Cluthis isn't a creature at the beginning of your. Pre-combat main phase, that's all. Target card from graveyard. If it's a land card, add green or red. Otherwise, you gain two life and it deals two damage to each opponent. Fantastic. I'm hoping to get a play out of this. This would be incredible. And a question, what is my favorite MTG set? I would have to say Innistrad. That's probably the all-time favorite, even though it came out long before I started playing. But I have opened... A um, couple of, what, a box and a fat pack, I think. Archon of Sun's Grace. Flying lifelink. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. And whenever an enchantment enters better from under your control, create a 2 2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, Scholar Grove Dancer. So life gain, top card of your library into your graveyard. Okay, so you can fill your graveyard and get some life from it. Got the lion again. I think that's probably the third one of those guys. Heroes of the Revel. When it enters battlefield, create a 1-1 red satyr creature token with this creature count block. Whenever you cast a spell that targets it, creatures you control get plus one plus zero into end of turn. Interesting. Labyrinth of Skofos. Doesn't this, um, I think this matches up with a Minotaur card. Uh, if you know what that one is, leave a note in the chat or comment. So this, you can tap it for colorless mana, pay four, tap, remove target, attacking or blocking creature from combat. Alrighty. Underworld Breach. So escaping and giving actually giving cards that don't normally have escape escape so you could be applying that to other sets in standard tectonic giant so you get to choose when it attacks becomes a target of spell and opponent controls that deals three damage to each opponent or exile top two cards of your library choose one of them until one of your next turn you may play that card okay Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders, a fishy, tap, add two colors, spend this man only to cast artifacts, spells, or abilities of artifacts, quick creature to control, flying in haste, I think we saw that guy before. Glimpse of Freedom, card draw, and escape, okay. Allure of the Unknown, amazing artwork here, Seb McKinnon, oh, of course. Reveal the top six cards of your library and opponent exiles a non land card from mum. Put the rest in your hand. That opponent may cast it, so cover that, paying its mana costs. Interesting. Okay, so you get them in your hand and they get to exile one. Okay. Little risky. Uh, Ghost Unit 9 says, Do you plan on getting any Beyond Death collect as well? I think I missed out on Rudy's offering for patrons. I was tempted, but I'm like, eh, I don't really want to spend that much. Um, probably get some loose packs. Crack those open. Not sure about a box. Depends if there's any interest from patrons or not. 
Impending Doom Enchant Creature Enchanted Creature gets plus three plus three attacks each combat if able. When it dies, it deals three damage to that creature's controller. Nice. Get a Storm Herald. Return aura cards from your graveyard. Attach to creatures you control. It saw them at the beginning of the next instant. If they'd leave the battlefield, it saw them instead of putting them anywhere else. Okay. Yes, I don't believe there are any goblins in Theros. Any goblins? I'm a little bit disappointed about that, but maybe the next set. Discordant Piper. This guy is uh, crazy. Looks like he's got two nose flutes going on there. And he creates goats. I was asking about that earlier. So, cranking out the goats. We've seen Atrus before, so moving right along. Yeah, Sword of Damocles on that other one. Bit of a delay, we've seen this guy, so we're getting some repetition now. Do I know about the next three new sets that are going to come out later in the year? Yes, indeed. Um, so what is it? Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths, Core 2021, and Zendikar Rising, I think it is. We've also got in March a deck, uh, like an unstable type thing. I forget what it's called. Uh, looks pretty crazy. Uh, also got some a whole stack of commander decks. So the commander decks will be early this year, coming out in April. We've got four of those, I believe. And then I think another two attached to the release. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Crooks, uh, Titan of Death's Hunger. Yes, this is what I was looking for when it, when it enters the battlefield, sack it unless it escaped. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card. Then each opponent who didn't discard an online card this way loses three life. Look at that artwork. Isn't that marvelous? Alrighty. Let's crack that. So we've seen him. So we're going to speed up a little bit, I think. We're getting duplicates here. What's this one? This is new. Renata called to the hunt. Power equal to devotion the green. Each other creature you control and spell for with an additional plus one plus one. Oh, okay, so green is gonna love that. And I believe we've seen that guy before. Crazy Austrian asks, how come I saw people already opening booster boxes? Are those pre pre-release boxes? So what you'll have you'll see is uh, LGSs will have them already. They're not usually supposed to sell them to people, but sometimes people have connections are able to get the boxes early. But alas, I will have to wait until Friday. So I think this time round I've ordered nine boxes, so way more than usual. Um, I had to trade a bunch of cards to get some of those. Um, but yeah, looking forward to picking those up. I'll pick up some this weekend and then a bunch more next weekend um, get a bunch of promos with those hopefully as well Erebus's intervention target creature gets minus x minus x to end turn you gain x life xl up to twice x target cards from graveyards oh interesting nyx lotus another one very cool how long have i been playing magic not very long by many standards since Armanket, and as you may have guessed I went a bit crazy for the game and started a YouTube channel about what six months later mischievous chimera so this guy is flying one of you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn it does one damage to each opponent scry one nice colorful artwork there we've got another lotus one more I believe and for those that care, Rudy is 91% sold out on his collector boxes. Oh, there's still a chance, but I don't know, Rudy. I don't have the cash, Rudy. Alas. So we've seen Erebus's intervention. All right. Ooh, nice sound effect. Eidolon of Obstruction. Enchantment Creature Spirit 2 1 for 2. Has first strike, loyalty abilities, a plan to walk through opponent's control. Costs one more to activate. That is pretty handy. 
Got the Mythic World card. We're disabling new matches for those who have not updated. Well, I guess I'll be updating after this, won't I? Thrix the Sudden Storm has flash and flying spells you cast with Kimono on cost 5 or greater, cost 1 less to cast, and can't be countered. Alright then. JJ Magic says, Do you know Joey? I do not know him personally. I have been watching his channel almost since the beginning, and he has been growing like a maniac. It's over a hundred thousand subscribers now. That is craziness. This, I believe, was the one I was asking about earlier with the labyrinth. So, Scophos Maze Warden, Creature Mentor Warrior 3, 4, 1. He gets plus 1, minus 1, 20 of turn. Whenever another creature becomes a target of an ability of a land you control, named Labyrinth of Scophos, you may have Scophos Maze Warden fight that creature. Okay, so a bit of a combo thing going on there. And another Galio. Pretty soon. We're going to get duplicates, so I think the duplicate protection should kick in at that point. Acolyte of Affliction. When it ends, if we'll put the top two cards of the library into your graveyard, then you may return a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Alright. Tectonic Giant again. Just Life asks, what's my favourite magic set? So that one came up earlier. So Innistrad. Anyone else a fan of Innistrad? I wonder if we will be returning there. They seem to be returning to an awful lot of places lately, so maybe in the next couple of years. This, I love this artwork, Eat to Extinction. Instant for four. Exo target creature or planeswalker. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Okay. So probably stuffing your graveyard. And finding a use for it. Underworld Breach. And Gary again, of course. Hope you really do a video about your favourite cards, why you like them, or your favourite or perfect deck view. You have missed my Goblin video. Do a search for MTG Unpacked Goblin Hunt number one. You will see a whole heap of my favourite cards and decks and so forth. Oh, marvelous sound effects there. Perforous bronze blooded legendary enchantment creature god, I believe. Seven six for five indestructible as long as your devotion rate is less than five. He isn't a creature. Other creatures you control of haste. For two and red, you may put a red creature card or artifact creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Suck it at the beginning of the next end step. Oh, okay, that's the downside with that. Pretty cool though, getting a lot of the gods. We've got Thassa, that guy. I think we're still short a couple and wonder if you're brave enough to overcome your fears. <laughs> Ishiok, yes, fantastic. So this spits out the two three nightmares there. And whenever it attacks or blocks, each opponent exiles the top two cards of their library and minus three return target non land permanent to its own hand. Then that player exiles a card from their hand. You may cast up to three face up cards your opponents own from exile without paying their mana costs. Nice. And Monkey Slopass. What is your favourite Planeswalker character in MTG lore? Ooh, that is a toss-up between probably Chandra or Liliana. Probably everybody says that. Uh, Ajani is pretty cool as well. It's tough to decide. Eating to extinction, yes. And we're rapidly extinguishing our packs here. Oh, but we're still getting new cards. Dream Shaper Shaman. Shaman creature minotaur at the beginning of your end step. You may pay two red second online permanent. If you do, reveal cards from the top of your library into your real a non-permanent card. Put it on tomato food and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Alright then. Underworld Breach again. Um, I do have a soft spot for Krenko though, because he's a 
Goblin, of course. Ooh, what was that? First, Storm's Wrath deals four damage to each creature and each planeswalker. All right. Ten packs left, and then we'll be wrapping it up. And then I'll have to start trying to figure out what decks I want to build. And of course, update the MTG Arena client. So Planeswalkers, what did we get? Elspeth, Ashiok, we haven't got that new one yet. And the Spider. Did I see the new Secret Lair drop, Year of the Rat? Are you kidding me? I will be waiting as soon as that goes on sale and snapping up a box of that. I was a huge fan of Rat Colony back in the day. That's just the most hilarious card. I mean, it's totally fragile, but I just think it's hilarious. So we've got another Dryad here. I think that's number three. Anyone else planning to pick up the Rat Secret Lair? Farika's Libation. Choose one target opponent. Sex a creature. Sex enchantment. We've got the Labyrinth again. Five packs left. JJ Magic says, went to GameStop, bought one boost pack, got an Oko, Thief of Crowns. You lucky chap. Nylea's Intervention. Okay, so I think we came across that one earlier. Last four packs. Kiora Bess the Sea God. And this one creates Krakens. Very nice. Welcome, Michael Ross. We're just about done here. Last three packs, so... A lot of stuff to watch on the replay. Lots of tasty mythics, I think. Yes, we got both of the Titans. A couple of Planeswalkers still missing. Planeswalker number three. Hoping in last two packs. Favourite card of this set. That dirty big Titan with the mouth on his stomach. That is just awesome. Probably second place was uh, Oro, the other... Titan. Oh, this. Yeah, okay. This guy's pretty funny as well. Yeah, love the artwork on that. And the Oko Thief of Crowns are mythic rare. And actually got banned in practically every format, so the price has dropped somewhat from the highs. Okay, what's it going to be? I'll bless it with the uh, mouse pointer here. What do you think? Rare or mythic? Let's see. And that's a bit anticlimactic. Okay, so there we are. Over a hundred packs of Theros Beyond Death. Can't wait to try out some of these cards, start building some decks. So we've got a bunch of cards here, um, including the Titans, a couple of Planeswalkers. So we'll see what we can come up with. And you've got to see some of the new animations here. It's just amazing. Um, I've been watching a bunch of streams over the past couple of days. Some very tasty stuff. Can I record my pre-release? No, I cannot. Logistically, that would be impossible. I don't have the setup, unfortunately. And I hope everyone has a great pre-release or a great weekend, nevertheless. And stay tuned, a whole bunch of Theros Beyond Death coming up. Um, we still do have patron videos, so there'll be a bunch of those over the coming weeks. But we'll be interspersing that with a whole heap of Theros Beyond Death. So stay tuned. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, tap that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and have a great day.